All right, guys, I have stumbled across something I am pretty excited about. This is literally a ditch, and there's a huge neighborhood on that side. And over there, it's just a bunch of forest, but there's all kinds of pipes that are running under this ditch. And if you look, you can see all of this basically grass, and there's just a water line right here from the recent flood we just had. So all this is is a floodwater ditch to basically save this neighborhood from flooding when it rains. And you can see that it was... 10 feet higher than it is right now, probably a, about two weeks ago. But it's it's calmed down, it's clear now. I'm looking at a one pound bass right now. I'm just gonna work my way up and down this creek and try and find some big fish. Starting with a little Mr. Twister Hellegrimite. Is that how you say that? 132nd ounce jig head, four pound line. And I got a brand new spinning reel. Cast King just sent me this one, size 1000 Valiant Eagle. So we're gonna try that out see what we can catch in this clear water ditch. Thank y'all for watching. Ah, I see a good bass. Got him. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. You guys see him down there. Look at all the other fish right around him. No, stay out of the weeds, dang it. Not bad for this little creek. Hopefully we can find something bigger, but that's pretty cool. Got him. Look at that. Beautiful green sunfish. Look at all the colors on that guy. They are super aggressive. Way bigger mouth than your average bluegill. And also those orange fins give him away and this little bit of blue on his mouth. Got a good bass right in front of us, right here. Oh, you got it. Oh, shoot. Two smaller ones right here. Look at him, man. He just nailed it. He missed it. There, he got it. Fun size. Oh my gosh, there's a good sized bass right there. Got a perfect cast, he's going right, no, dang it. Oh, I thought that was a done deal, the way he beeline straight towards it. That was a mistake. Oh, there is a good bass right here. See if he turns around. Oh, he's going right at it. Got him. That's so fun. Dang, man. Every one of them does this thing. Go right into the weeds. And with this four pound line, it ain't easy. Those fish are pretty healthy. That dude's probably the fattest one we've got yet. Check this out. A little waterfall dumping in here. Look at all the fish right here. There are so many fish right there. Look at that. The scans of them. Some big, I don't know if that's a big bass or a bluegill or what it is, but dang it. Oh, there's a nice bass down there, guys. 
Y'all gotta see him right there in that current. Oh, he's looking at it. He, oh, I think he got it. He got it. That's a good bass. That's a good bass. He's gonna loosen up on them. That's a good fish. We watched him come and do it. No, he's got me all... There he is. Look at this. Look at this fish. Get out of the rocks, man. He's in the rocks. Super good fight for a creek fish. Come here, man. Stop it. Oh, come on, buddy. Get up here. This is proving way more difficult than I imagined. Look at him. No, he keeps... Dang it, he's literally... Stuck on the rock. There he is. I gotta get down here somehow. Look at this. That is a creek monster. <laughs> Got you, sucker. Man, that took forever to get that fish in. I know y'all saw I got the lure stuck in those weeds and I popped it out of the weeds and we watched that fish come up and get it. Got a perfect hook set in him right there. That's gonna be a cool release. <laughs> that was incredible. So cool to see all these little bluegill right down here so close to me and then there's a good bass right there whoa okay check this out check this out Look at that long ear sunfish. We got him. Look at that long ear sunfish. That is just ridiculously gorgeous. Look at this bass. Turn around, turn around. Come on. No, there's a little bluegill. No. Oh, oh, that's a big bass. He was looking, he was looking for it. We'll get it in front of him this time. Oh, oh, come on. He's turned again. Look at him. There he is. Look at, we hooked one of them. Look at all the other ones start chasing him down. Maybe it'll get him fired up. The second biggest one is looking right at it and then the bigger one's right behind him. Oh, here he comes. Look at him. All right, we have been seeing a ton of bluegill down there and we've kind of been ignoring them. So we're gonna catch them now. That's a, literally a fly tying hook right there. One, I think it's a one 100th ounce jig head and a little Mr. Twister micro craw. I almost guarantee you the second this thing hits the water, those bluegill are gonna go nuts for it. There's one. Yes, check this guy out. That is another long ear sunfish with some insane colors. 
That's one of the reddest ones I have ever seen. There he is. Aha, that's a new species again. It's the Rio Grande cichlid. Pretty fat little fish. I think that one is a male because he's got this little bump right here. There's a lot of species in this little fleet. All right guys, super fun couple hours out here. It was really interesting because the bigger bass were always hiding in the structure under the bank. And the only way that you would find them is if you would cast and you'd see the bluegill start to react and the bass would just know something's up. I'm sure they could see or feel those bluegill get excited and they would rush out of the cover to see what was going on. And that's how we actually caught, or at least saw most of the big bass. For this creek of really big bass, it's probably two pounds, and we got one of those, and we messed with a couple others that we just could not get to bite. I think if you can see a bass, chances are they can see you. I tried to camo up, and it only helped somewhat. Really trying to watch my shadows and just make sure that I'm not doing anything wrong to let those fish know I'm here. But, like I said, if you can see the fish, chances are they can see you too. It was awesome to sight fish a lot of those fish. New reel worked pretty well, Cast King, Valiant Eagle. I really had to lead a lot of those fish when I'm sight fishing them and that thing just casted perfectly. If you're in the market for a new spinning reel, check that out, I'll leave the link below. As always, Mr. Twister Micro Craw and Mr. Twister Hellagramite did great. I'll leave a link for those baits below if you want to do some creek fishing like this. Thank you guys for watching.